Hey everyone and welcome back to the Deadpool Cave. I know I was supposed to review another Deadpool item during the week and this week it's the Sideshow Premium format but I just didn't have time because I've had family visiting and Easter has been amazing. So I'm going to try and get into a quick five minute news for your weekly update. My top story this week has to be the discussions James Gunn had with Marvel or a remote possibility of Marvel versus DC a crossover down the line. Now, I know it's highly unlikely, but the 15-year-old in me freaked out when Amalgam Comics came out in 1996. I was super happy. My inner geek really wants this to happen. Another thing I always wanted to see is the Street Fighter movie done properly. This week, the TV and film rights for Street Fighter were secured by Legendary. So a new movie is in the works, and they do big budget movies. In Secret Invasion news, we found out that Amelia Clark's character has been confirmed as Talos' daughter, Gaia, and that was introduced in Captain Marvel. We saw the third trailer drop and a new poster revealed. It's being hailed as MCU's and Disney Plus's first crossover event. Nick Fury will be back in Secret Invasion, and his absence has been explained as him being shaken by the death of Natasha and Tony Stark. But the poster kind of showed him as half scroll, so I think I know what's coming. Josh Friedman, who wrote Avatar, The Way of Water, is apparently rewriting the script for Fantastic Four. I mean, that's going to be a huge movie. I can't wait for it. I mean, all to tie into Secret Wars. I also saw that Russell Crowe teased that the Spider-Man spin-off villain movie, Craven will be unexpectedly dark. I heard that they've changed his origin story from being a hunter to an animal rights activist. So I hope it'll be good. I'm excited to see the on-screen exchange between David Harbour and Russell Wyatt in the new Thunderbolts movie. So that's Red Guardian and US Soldier. And I think they're going to be hilarious. When it comes to comics, everyone has been FOMO buying Spider-Man issue 7 because it's the first appearance of a new character, Spider-Boy. And he's Spider-Man's new sidekick. We learn that his real name is Bailey and he's from Earth 616. But this isn't the first time Spidey's had a sidekick. I remember an Alpha Fall, or that was an Amazing Spider-Man 692, and that was supposed to be the next big thing but copies of that are now being sold for around $4. There's just extra hype around anything Spider-Man with the Across the Spider-Verse movie around the corner. My assistant Liam was supposed to talk about news that came out this week that he was excited about, but I'm going to help him out and do his segment for him this week. The new Super Mario Brothers movie has been a massive success and they're already talking about the post credit scenes and Chris Pratt was talking about a potential sequel. Jason Momoa's Minecraft movie has a release date and it's set for April 4th, 2025. It'll be directed by Jared Hess. He directed Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre. How about the live action remake of Moana with The Rock and the, even the girl who acted in the animated movie? I think that's going to be really awesome because we all love the animated movie. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining us. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the channel with your friends. Till next week, catch on the side of the flipping. Okay, bye.